Learning to play Ryu and Ken in the same video? Let's do it. The key moves you're going to need are the same for both characters. Standing medium punch, crouching heavy punch, crouching medium kick and crouching heavy kick. As for jumps, you either want to use jump medium punch or jump heavy kick. Ryu can combo his jump medium punch into another jump medium punch. Ken cannot juggle with his medium punch, but it's still a solid air to air. Jump back medium punch all day. For a cross up, Ryu can just use jump heavy kick, but Ken has to use jump medium kick. You can pick Ken, you can pick Ryu, but one thing's for certain, the fireballs are gonna be your best friend. Keep your opponent out, force them to jump, punish them when jumping, make them land on your fireball, it's so versatile. Ryu also has a red fireball, which knocks down up close, but this isn't gonna be too relevant. You don't want to throw fireballs up close. Up close, there's only one combo you want to do. Crouching medium kick into light fireball. Let me tell you guys about the fireball trap. It's very easy. If you throw a light fireball and it gets blocked, then at a certain range, you can throw a heavy fireball, which the opponent will have no choice but to block. They can't jump out. This gives you free corner pressure. Shoryuken. This is your get out of jail free card. The first few frames are invincible, meaning you can get out of any kind of pressure situation if you get knocked down for example. It's also your go-to anti-air, and as the first input is walking forward, you need to get comfortable with moving forward, because it will keep you safe. As Ryu, you only want to do the light version. As Ken, maybe you want to do the heavy version sometimes, cause it does have a frame 1 hitbox. But mainly stick to light. Tatsu. As Ryu, this is your second get out of jail free card. It's invincible on startup, so you can use it to leave the corner for free. Use the heavy version. Ryu can also combo crouching light kick into light tatsu, which is a pretty consistent way to knock down your opponent. As Ken, however, you never want to use the tatsu on the ground. In the air though? Now this is the best way to use the tatsu. You can zoom around the screen all you want. Use this to reposition, build some easy meter, or maybe for jump-ins. Both characters have overheads on the ground. Ryu has a great overhead with forward medium punch. Ken, however, gets a few funky kicks, which are very good for mixing your opponent up. You mainly want to use the quarter circle forward or the half circle forward versions. If you just press the kick button, it gives you a regular kick, but if you hold the kick button down as you're doing it, it gives you an overhead. Your main game plan is either to keep your opponent out or to find a knockdown. And if you knock the opponent down and they want to block, you can put them into a guessing game. You either want to do overhead, sweep, or throw. Worth mentioning here is Ken's medium kick throw. It's like rock, paper, scissors. You can also do a meaty fireball. On top of all of the knockdown shenanigans, jumping adds a whole new dimension to this. But I won't go in depth about that. You'll have to figure that out on your own. Or read about it. Finally, let's look at some supers. Ryu's super is really useful. Even if the opponent blocks it, it still does a ton of chip damage. And it also blows through enemy fireballs. My advice is just to use it however you want to. You can build one really fast. Also, it causes a knockdown. You know what that means. Ken's super is invincible for a long time and is also a great anti-air. If you're pressuring the opponent, it can be a lot of damage or a lot of chip. Ken is also surprisingly actionable at the end. Also, also, it knocks down on hit. Here's a list of all the best Ryu and Ken players. I have nothing more to say. See ya!